What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I have an awesome thing that uh, a few of my buddies and I found while playing zombies the other day, so I'm not sure if everybody knows what a circuit is, so I'm going to explain that right now. So, a circuit is when you run a certain route on a zombies map, and you run that route every single time, and you just gather more zombies chasing you behind you, and then finally you turn around uh, at certain points and kill them. And it's, you know, when camping comes becomes ineffective, I want to say around round 10, for at least it seemed like for us on this map, uh, some, things like circuits really, really work and get you into higher rounds. And that's why you see two people getting to like round 60-something on Ascension, because they run circuits. And I've even seen round 90, that was on Machinima Respawn. So, Anyways, guys, um, this is the circuit that we found for Call of the Dead, and it is really effective. You'll see, uh, it's basically a two-man team with, uh, you'll see this guy named Horns, which is one of my friends I know in real life, but, um, yeah, we're running this circuit, and so once uh, we go back to the beginning, I'll detail the circuit that we're running, but anyways, as you'll see, there's a ton of zombies behind us, and usually around this point, we turn around and... Uh, mow them down but of course you can tell I have an upgraded commando he has an upgraded ray gun uh, we both have all four perks now for this circuit I would encourage you guys to get juggernaut that's that's a must uh, stamina up is almost a must also because it's you know you run faster it's stamina up. and uh, let's see what else uh, speed cola is not as important but pretty pretty freaking important and actually I should have for my fourth one I should have gotten Deadshot Daiquiri in my opinion that's really easy and helpful to mow down zombies but I had quick revive but I never used it so here's the beginning of the circuit I'll detail it for you guys first you go um, onto the boat and you go up these stairs and I wouldn't recommend running a circuit until the later rounds and the reason there's not four people up is because the other two people died and we panicked and started running this circuit so you go all the way up to where the power is, and then you kind of hold off for a little bit, wait a little bit, wait a little bit, until you become overrun, and at the last second, you'll see what we do. And, um, you know, clearly, oh, right there, actually, uh, excuse me, this is not the proper circuit right here. Um, we kind of, <laughs> I don't know why we did that, but uh, definitely when we go back around and restart it, or actually, I'll, we'll just get back on track and... I think I have about three circuit run-throughs in this one video, so there'll be plenty to view, but uh, this circuit is so... I mean, we're, we're killing, and we're going, uh, we're progressing through rounds that of zombies that are meant for four players, and it's only me and Horns doing it, so it's, as you can tell, it's extremely, extremely effective, but let me warn you, this is not done easily with just, you know, people that play casual zombies, it's, I mean... Honestly, it's tough to keep this up. Uh, you know, you got to really be proactive and communicate with your partner. Uh, Two-player zombies, this would probably work really, really well. I haven't... I tried it once, but um, through other reasons and means, it didn't work out very well. But anyway, so you take that zip line, you go all the way up to the top of the lighthouse and take the zip line down, and then once again, all these zombies will follow, easy to mow down. And this Galil is not even upgraded. And uh, the reason I had the Galil is because my other upgraded weapon, which I believe was an AUG, ran out of ammo. Or a FAMAS, probably, I think. But, anyways, I got to round 19. And the only reason we stopped was because we were going for two hours, and the two people that were dead, uh, one of them was host. <laughs> so he couldn't leave. He wanted to do other things on Black Ops. So that's why we ended it. And uh, we actually got in the... Uh, 60,000 for score. Top 60,000 in the world, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, as you can tell, Juggernaut really helped Horns right there. So, once again, I think we're going to run the route the correct way this time. So, you just go up onto the boat, and I'm showing you my score here. Um, I, don't, I don't have the most kills, but look at my headshots. 131 headshots. I actually get uh, more score than Horns does, and Horns ends up with almost 500 kills. It's kind of funny. But you go up onto the boat, and then you uh, wait a little bit and get launched by the flipper, either the teleporter or the flipper. 
We like to call it the flipper now, I think, because it's fun to say. So you uh, take the flipper, come over here, go downstairs, go into the lighthouse, go all the way up, and then you'll be able to hold off for the zombies for just a little bit. I think we have to go immediately right here, because as you can tell, it's pretty hectic. Um, sometimes, as you see right there, he fell down. And when that happens, all you have to do is take the bottom route to the boat and go up the stairs. You'll see me meet Horns on the way up. He'll come from my left right about now. And I turn around and he'll be there in a second or something. But, see, you know, if you fall down off of that, right there. It's just that easy. You just go down the lower boat way and go up those stairs. Um, I almost got caught there, you know. Of course, I didn't. if I didn't have Juggernog, I would have been screwed right there. Let me also make something very important to everybody. Um, Juggernog is invaluable. It's not even funny. Like, getting hit twice is probably 50 times better than getting hit... Sorry. Getting uh, downed in 5 to 6 hits is so much better than getting downed in 2 hits. Like, it's monumental. It's not even funny. So, Juggernog, if you're trying to go for high rounds and zombies... Juggernog is really, really your best friend. So, this has been a circuit. I believe, I hope you guys, uh, this is my new mic that you're listening to now. It sounds a little bit more like I do in, in actual real life, so <laughs> that's uh, interesting. But it's a new mic I got. It's called Snowball. Pretty cool. And uh, this video is wrapping up. I think I'm going to be sending this over to Respawn because this is a really helpful video. We're getting very high on zombies. I don't know if four people can run this circuit, but it, it works really damn well with two people. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Expect a lot more zombies, and uh, peace.